was placing my sentimental value wrong. Hey guys, what's up? It's Garrett with FT Real M. This week's topic is sexuality, so I'll be talking about how much of a homo I am. And I hear from a lot of people that sexuality can be slash is very fluid. I wouldn't know anything about that because I'm just not a very fluid person in general. I'm very black and white. Um, I'm also very gay. I enjoy men. I enjoy penis. But the funny thing about that is that for the first, well, no, not for the first 20 years of my life, um, let me just give a little backstory on the history of my sexuality so you can see how it can change um, through your transition and not because of hormones but because by transitioning you are becoming more comfortable with yourself with your body with everything about you and because of that you then accept yourself in more ways than one and I'm the perfect example for that so before I started puberty I was very attracted to boys I guess um, guys you know, whatever, same sex, um, and I had no problem showing that, you know, I did like them a lot, <laughs> and then puberty hit, I became very depressed, obviously, um, and then I didn't want to be with guys anymore, I didn't have, like, I liked them, and I knew that in the back of my mind, but I, the thing was that I liked guys, but I couldn't be with them because it made me uncomfortable to be with them because I didn't know what being transgender meant yet. So I just felt trapped in a body that wasn't mine. But unfortunately, guys would see me as female and I did not feel comfortable being with them as a female. So I started dating girls because with girls, I could be the dominant one. I could be the male one in the relationship. And at the time, I didn't realize all of that. I just thought that I liked girls and, you know, whatever. So needless to say, I have and did struggle with my sexuality for many, many, many years. And I dated lots and lots and lots of girls. I had lots and lots and lots of sex with girls. But as much as I wanted to enjoy it, I really didn't. No offense to any of my ex-girlfriends who may come across this video. It wasn't you, it was me. Um, so I was just always dominant with them. I never, like very rarely did I allow them to do anything to me just because I wasn't comfortable with that and I wasn't really into it. So then fast forward, um, to like a year, two years ago and, um, this was like a year before I even started hormones. So then I got with my current boyfriend, Dakota, and before we got together, he wasn't out as trans yet. Um, but about like... Six months into our relationship, maybe sooner, I already knew that he was male and I just, I knew that I was just waiting for him to tell me so that we could, you know, figure out where we're going to go from there. Um, so a little over a year after we got together, he finally did tell me and after he came out to me as trans, I came out to him as gay. So it worked out. Um, but... I still struggled with it just because it was something really hard for me to accept. I'm not sure why. I think it's just because of my upbringing. You know, my father was very homophobic. My mother is a very traditional Spanish woman. So that probably had a lot to do with it. And growing up in urban and uh, Hispanic communities, um, just being gay wasn't a thing. So yeah, I guess in a sense, like just from my experience in my life, sexuality can be seen as fluid. But um, I know for a fact that for me, it, it wasn't so much that it was fluid and it definitely was not the hormones that changed my sexuality or my attractions from women to men. Um, I thought about it long and hard and I realized that before I started hormones and before I started looking how I should and feeling how I should, like just before I felt the connection with everything, um, those of you that are on T, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Those who are about to start, you will understand what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to get into that. But, um, yeah, so after thinking about it for a long time, you know, I just realized that before all of that, I just wasn't comfortable with the role that I was forced, that I would be forced to play in a um, relationship with a man. Especially, like, before I even came out.
as transgender, which I did when I was 18. Like, officially. I came out when I was, like, 14, but it wasn't... I, my parents didn't listen to me, so whatever. Um, so, yeah, I will leave it at that for this video. I will let the other guys on the channel further explain from their experiences. Oh, I got outbid on an item on eBay. That fucking sucks. Okay. Anyway, um... I'm going to go, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and tune back in next week. I believe we'll be talking about binders, so that'll be good. Alright, you guys, have a good week. Cheers.